This is an informational video about the Speedrite S1000. We wanted to demonstrate how to properly connect uh, the battery inside and also charge the battery because that is incredibly important with any of these all-in-one solar units to make sure that the battery is fully charged before you go to use it for the first time each time. And also, if you do need to replace the battery, that battery will need to be fully charged before you go to use it. This is how the S1000 will look and while it's in its packaging once it arrives to you. This is really great sturdy plastic. It may change. I hear that they may be changing it to a cardboard box, but for now, this is the packaging that it comes in. And we have one that is out of the packaging for demonstration purposes. There's a little clip underneath here that you just push on and it swings back to open up and you can see what is inside. So here are the battery clips. So you want to attach the black one to the black top of the battery, make sure it's on there good. And you also want to take the, the one that's red and clip it to the red top. As you can see too, the fence leads are inside the fence energizer when it comes to you. So once that is connected, we can close the energizer and it's got a, a clicking noise once you know that it is closed properly. So then you, this is the off position here where it is the black or open circle. You would wanna leave it in the sun for three days to make sure that that battery is fully charged. If you do have a trickle charger, you can also attach the battery that is in there to the trickle charger and let it charge. It typically takes overnight to get it fully charged. Um, but if you're just gonna do it this way with the battery inside the energizer, it is recommended that you let it sit in the sun for three days to make sure that the battery is fully charged. So for connecting the fence leads on the back of the energizer, there are a couple of gray knobs. The red one in the top is going to be the fence lead for the hot wire on your energizer. You just slip that over top and put the knob back on. And there is a little groove right there where you can slip that in so you can get a good tight connection. It doesn't have to be clamp down super hard, just, you know, hand tight is fine. And the green one is going to connect to your ground system. Um, if you're using just a three foot T-handle ground rod, you can just clip that to the top of the ground rod. Just clamp that down. Just like that. So then it would be ready once the battery is fully charged to be able to attach to your energizer or to your fence and your ground rod. Once you turn it on, you will see that it is working because the green light will flash to let you know that the energizer is working. Okay, so here we're going to show you how to test the energizer uh, with a digital voltmeter once you get everything hooked up inside and get the battery fully charged. And I know some people ask, you know, what would the voltage be once the battery is fully charged? Um, so, you know, we can and test it and show you how to test it. So I've already removed the knobs on the back. And here's a Patriot digital voltmeter. For those of you that might not know, Patriot and Speedrite are actually made by the same company. Um, so they're pretty much interchangeable, especially with these solar units. So here's how you can test the energizer. Got the red clip goes on to the red knob, and then you're going to want to touch the ground probe onto that knob, the green knob, and then turn it on. 
and then it'll come up. This is getting uh, 9.8 kilovolts. So that would be 9,800 volts. So that battery is fully charged and it is working well. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and order all your fence charger needs at www.speedrightchargers.com.